Hi, this is 3 Minute Maths on Algebra Proof. Please do follow the link below in the description, download the worksheet, have a go at each of the questions for yourself. Okay, so the things to remember with Algebra Proof is that any number is n, any even number is 2n and any odd number is 2n plus 1. And those are the three kind of basic principles you need to remember for algebra. Let's have a look at the first question. OK, so the first question is to show algebraically that the sum of any three, and the important thing is consecutive even numbers. So as I mentioned, the first even number is 2n, so therefore the second even number must be 2n plus 1. 2. OK, let's put that into this particular question. So we've got 2n and then we're going to sum it. So we're going to add it to 2n plus 2 and then we're going to sum it again to the third one, which is going to be 2n plus 4. OK, when we add up all of that and simplify it, we're going to get 6n plus 6. And therefore, I can write that as 6 being a factor. And if 6 is a factor, factor, it basically means that the expression must be a multiple of six. OK, let's have a look at question number two. This will be the final question just in those three minutes and we'll have a look at that. But please do visit the site, download the questions and there's also answers for all of the questions as well. OK, so number two, and this is where it gets a little bit trickier because of this negative sign in the middle. So when we're working with negative, we need to be very careful. We've got 3n plus 1, and that's going to be squared. So 3n plus 1. And then we're going to minus, I'm going to put some big square brackets in there. Now that reminds me that anything I do with this particular expression is going to be affected by the negative sign in the middle. It's really important. So use square brackets. It makes life a whole lot easier. OK, so uh, let's expand that out then. So we We've got 3n times 3n is going to be 9n squared plus 6n plus 1 minus, and again, big square brackets, and I've got 9n squared minus 6n plus 1 again. OK, now, as soon as we remove that negative sign, it's going to affect all of the other terms in the second expression or the second expansion. OK, so let's have a look at this. We've got 9n squared plus 6n plus 1 minus, so we've got minus 9n squared plus 6n minus 1. OK, which means that and that cancel, that and that cancel, and I get left with 12n. OK, we're being asked to make it a multiple of 4, so therefore we can say that 4 is a factor, and therefore because 4 is a factor, it also must be a multiple of that particular expression. OK, hopefully that's OK for you. Please do follow the link below and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.